In its latest outbreak, Hong Kong has been seeing thousands of daily COVID cases this week, even reaching record numbers since the pandemic there began. Let's get an update from our Anne Chan in Hong Kong. And what's the latest and what measures are we seeing? Zhengshu, Hong Kong is expecting around 4,200 new daily cases and over 3,000 preliminary positive cases. So the numbers are continuing to rise. President Xi Jinping says Hong Kong's government must uh, take the main responsibility of controlling the outbreaks as soon as possible. That's uh, according to local media, which also says the president said the central government must give its full support to the SAR government. And to ensure effective anti-pandemic coordination, the central government will further set up a work mechanism led by the Hong Hong Kong and Macau Affairs Office and the National Health Commission. Um, starting today, seven clinics across various districts like Shatin and Kennedy Town are designated to handle outpatient treatment for those with milder symptoms. The government is also in talks with the taxi industry to work out a plan to have designated drivers transport infected people for treatment. And as for tackling testing delays, lab staff will work longer hours and streamline their work processes. And meanwhile, three new public housing blocks in Fanling and Liking districts will be converted uh, into quarantine facilities and around 3,000 flats will be available for this purpose. This move is a similar arrangement to what was done around two years ago at the start of, of the pandemic. And officials um, are also looking at converting hotels uh, into isolation facilities to free up up to 10,000 units. And um, as for boosting testing capacity, 100 million rapid t uh, antigen test kits have been procured from the Chinese mainland and the first batch will be distributed to staff of elderly care homes who now have to undergo testing every day instead of once every three days. Now, many people uh, and businesses have been hit hard by this pandemic and the strict social distancing measures imposed to tackle it. The Legislative Council uh, finally approved the government's request to inject 3.4 billion U.S. dollars into the anti-epidemic fund and an estimated 67,000 companies and 750,000 individuals could be helped. Back to you. Our Anne Chan live in Hong Kong for us today and appreciate it.